Hey, this is Arlene. So anyways, um, my Panera card and my thermos are still missing. Um, I may not get them back, but I'm going to keep doing videos about them. And in different locations. Now, my Panera card, it was actually stolen. And what I mean by stolen is it was actually stolen. Someone went into my backpack, went into my compartment, took out my wallet, and took the Panera card. Now, why they only took the Panera card and not the Starbucks card, I don't know. Except that the Starbucks card only had $5 on it. So anyways, they took my Panera card. This happened at 5640. Uh, Santa Monica Boulevard in LA. I'm in 215. So someone took it. There is no Panera around here. So why they took it, I don't know. But anyways, <coughs> my thermos was taken from me. Now that probably most likely happened. <coughs> it didn't happen in my apartment. <coughs> and it was dirty when it was taken. <coughs> so that was taken from me, um, most likely from my car. I'd hate to believe someone took it at work. And I was just in a rush to get home and just did it over, overseeing that my thermos um, was taken. So the only time, and I remember because the only time where I didn't go straight home was when I went to Trader Joe's on Mission Road in South Pasadena. I went there and my um, that's the only place where my stuff would have been unattended. Now the Panera card is in my wallet. I never leave my wallet unattended. My wallet is always in my backpack and my backpack is always with me. I don't care if I have a work and be like, okay, come to my desk. Oh, you don't need to bring your stuff. It'd be really quick. Bullshit. I take my stuff with me. And um, that's... Uh, that's what I do. Oh, this guy crossing the street. I see him uh, quite a few times on this block. So, um, that one right there on the corner. Where is he? Right there. I see him. This isn't the first time. So, anyways, um, after a while, you kind of get an idea, familiar with the cars and the people. So, anyways, um, that was taken from me. And that was a Christmas gift. So I'm just going to keep doing my videos wherever I choose as I remember and just get it documented that I still have it. My thermos is a nice stainless steel thermos and it says thermos on it. And somebody took that from me and someone took my Panera card. Now I got my eye gel back, but I got it all thrashed up. I had to fix it and clean it and stuff. Um, but I got it back and um, when I got it back it wasn't in the greatest condition so somebody did kind of like um, destroyed it a little bit before they returned it back so I'm assuming the person that took my eye gel probably took my Panera card that's what I'm thinking they took my Panera card and then um, I don't know who took my thermos but I'm sure whoever works in the South Pasadena Alhambra area took it or someone knows who took it. So somebody took it. They're just not fessing up to it. And the thing is, if it happened at Trader Joe's, then the security cameras, if they didn't erase it, would uh, show who went into my car. And if someone went into my car at work or at a gas station, it should show it in the security cameras. Now, unfortunately, in my apartment hallway, the security camera was removed. I don't know if it's going to be put back after all the painting and remodeling is being done. So, I'm not really sure on that one. But, um, the only thing is, there is a stairwell. And I am getting targeted from this direction to uh, my right leg, my knee. So, anyways, um... I'm not really sure um, if that camera is going to go back up. It would be really nice if it would go back up. 
So right now it's like at the front door and stuff, which will be good because the next time my Amazon package is stolen from a tenant there, or I'll know either someone in the apartment building is taking my Amazon package or the Amazon, the local warehouse is just not delivering it and keeping it because they know that Amazon has insurance and they would cover it. So it could be one, that too. I don't know, but I'll find out because the next time my Amazon package isn't there, I am going to go straight to the office and call them and leave a message asking them if they could check their security cameras. And then I'll see if anyone took off of my package. Because I know Amazon will get me a free replacement, but I don't want a free replacement. I want that delivery. So I'm going to start doing that. And then also, I always do use Periscope most of the time when I cross because I get a lot more than the normal person of people who will still try and clip me with their cars. They do that pretend thing. They're, they're trying to scare me. And so that's why I use Periscope. Or they have those special headlights where the human eye just sees a headlight. But when my camera picks it up, my camera actually picks up like something coming from the headlights and it's not in every car the last one was a couple of days ago on date and commonwealth in alhambra by panera there was a white tacoma that was headed east on commonwealth and making a right on date to go south towards mission road and it had something because it's on uh periscope and I also tweeted it so i know what i see and the thing is, is that's what I love about my iPhone. The cameras, they pick up more than what the human eye does. So when I'm crossing the street and I see headlights, yep, I am going to look up to make sure you know, I'm not getting targeted. If I get targeted, well, you're going to be outed on social media. So that's your, uh, that's your problem, not mine. So anyways, that is why I use Periscope a lot. And um, I'm thinking that's probably why I always have a hacker that's trying to shut it down or freeze it. Or um, when something happens right before it happens, they uh, flip the camera. So it's one of multiple reasons. So anyways, I just wanted to do this video because I really need to get on my walk now. But I am getting targeted to the right somewhere to to my right leg right there you can see the sun isn't even out and it's really white so sure it's the frequency so anyways um that's it so it is january the 10th 2020 and we're on la mirada avenue and western in los angeles there's the 101 freeway overpass so i'm getting frequencies from somewhere Oh, right there. I'm actually getting frequencies from the power lines above. I knew something on top of my head. And then I'm also I'm across the freeway or somewhere. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm done for now.